Recently, we received an inquiry from one of the customers who wanted to install two cameras at the main gate. His package is always missing. He doesn't know whether it's been stored or it's not being delivered. So he wanted to install two cameras to monitor the main gate to see what's happening. But he is also facing some difficult thing to install these two cameras. So we come up with the outdoor POE switch solution. We would like to share this solution to you. But first of all, let's move to the whiteboard and see what is the situation he's facing now. The customer wants to install two cameras at the main gate, so he can shoot in the front. If the package is missing, or he will know whether it's being slow, slow or it's not being delivered. And he will keep the recorder, the NVR, at the house. The first challenge he's facing is there's about 1,200 feet between the house and the main gate. He can use the CAT5 UK6 Ethernet cable, but the CAT5 UK6 Ethernet cable only can supply about 300 feet. But here we are talking about 1,200 feet. Probably he need to use the PoE standard. The PoE standard can repeat the PoE network. But they also mean he may need to bury the PoE standard under the ground. So it increases the challenge to diagnose the problem. You may need to dig up and find out which wrong if in the future. And the second issue he's facing now is the environment outdoor is quite harsh. There's nothing to cover the equipment. If you just set up a PoE switch to power this two IP camera, the sun and dust and the rain could damage the switch quite soon. So in this case, we just recommend the customer to use the outdoor PoE switch. Now let's move to the rear system. This is the PoE NVR. It's supposed to place in the house. And the NVR is attached to the main router. And from the main router, we got another KFI Ethernet cable to connect to this small device. We, we do know we cannot connect the fiber optic cable directly to the main router, right? Because the main router cannot take in the fiber optic cable. So this small device is called media converter. It will convert the digital electronic signal to fiber optical signal. And there's also one key component with this media converter is called SFP transceiver, this small one. It will determine what kind of fiber optic cable you can use, single mode or multi mode, and what kind of connector you can use. And from media converter, we got the short punch code to link to this box. It's nothing special, it's just a box to manage the fiber optic cable. From this box, we could have the run run fiber optic cable to the main gate, it's about 1200 feet. We are using the pre-made fiber optic cable so the customer doesn't need to fusion the connector. The connector is being made in the factory, you just need to plug and play it. Now let's move to the front gate. This is the outdoor PoE switch we mentioned before. The power source has been built into this switch, so we can connect this switch directly to an AC outlet. Also, the media converter has been built in. You don't need to have this kind of small media converter. We can connect the fiber optic cable directly to this outdoor PoE switch. And we are using one of the ports to supply this Pentel Zoom camera. There's additional port, we can add more camera, even other IP device such as IPSS point. One of the features of this outdoor PoE switch is it's IP67 waterproof. So we don't need to worry about the dust, the rain. And it's also industry gray, so it can work in front of the wide range temperature. Alright, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.